So this question is, what tips do you have for manifesting friendships and family relationships through these controversial and confusing times? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. Um, I kind of talked about this with John um, a couple of weeks ago, but I'm really learning uh, the power of community in the last like couple of years and how important it is to have people that you feel like you belong to. And by belonging, Brene Brown talks about this. It's not fitting in. A lot of times we associate fitting in with belonging, but belonging is where we can show up exactly as we are and um, feel like we're, good, we're okay. And maybe we're still challenged by those people, but we can, we can show up ourselves as ourselves fully and know that it's okay. So um, one thing I think it's important is to understand your values and understand what you want in a community and want with the people that you're surrounding yourself with and um, knowing, you know, your, your value and your worth and what you want that experience to be like with others and being curious with others too. Um, I think that's something, especially with there being a lot of opposition and thought and beliefs and stuff right now, curiosity is so powerful because we, a lot of times can create our own stories on what is happening or what somebody might believe because of what they said. And so being curious, if there's a relationship that you really want to sustain, but you have differing views, um, ask questions, get to know where they're coming from. Um, they're heart of the matter and, uh, sometimes thoughts and opinions change and sometimes they're pretty deep rooted, <laughs> but there's an opportunity to be curious and still love others, even with opposing views or thoughts on things. And so, um, I would say, yeah, know your, you know, tap into know yourself, what you want out of a community. Who do you, what, who do you want them to call you to be? Like, what is the, what are you hoping for in community? Um, and in relationship to others. Um, I was actually just talking with one of my friends the other day and I'm like, man, the people that are like the closest to me, they're all people that I'm like, I want to be more like you when I grow up. Like I, I am so inspired by my closest friends. They are just, um, their journeys. And that doesn't mean that they're perfect. It's even in their fumbles and we don't always agree on everything, but they are people that I'm like, okay, I, I value your character and appreciate your journey and your resiliency and courage and vulnerability. And so um, I don't know if that totally answers it. I think it's, and I think it's putting yourself out there too. Um, and when you are, when you understand yourself or curious about yourself and then curious about others, it gives you an open door to relate and connect with people that might not be on the same journey as you or might have different views and thoughts. And there's something so exciting and incredible about being in relationship with people that maybe don't have the same viewpoint as you do. Um, now, I also think there's setting healthy boundaries and all of those kinds of things that people need to take into consideration. And there are certain people that might be safer than others to share that space of belonging fully with. Um, but there's a lot of love and a lot of empathy and a lot of care and curiosity that is like beckoning us with other people that don't maybe align with us fully on everything. What do you think? I don't even know if any of that made sense. <laughs> Sense. It absolutely did. I was just thinking about there's a running theme for you, isn't there? And it's obviously aligned to your values as well around continuing to learn and grow for yourself and from others. You talked about being inspired by the people you're surrounded by. Mm -hmm. um, you meant you talked about community and, you know, I was thinking about both sides of what you were saying. So there's the side of learning from people who could be so different from you. And it actually made me think my husband and I are yin and yang. I mean, we've been in together 23 years and sometimes people are quite surprised at how different we are. I mean, of course we do, we must have some shared common values to have made it through here or we've both got lots of patience. So, but we are really different. Um, but together we make a whole. And I think one of the things that's great about that and being you know, around here where I've got some family members that might not be into the things that I'm into or interested in that. But it helps me to stay humble. 
it also challenges me to grow and look at different perspectives and there's this piece of acceptance isn't it understanding others perspectives and accepting them for who they are it actually helps me to release judgment so there's that was that one piece i was thinking about and then the other piece is as well is with community i mean we do become the average kind of of the five people we spend most time with so like you were saying what do you want from the, the group of friends or even family that you're engaging with and i actually just came back last week was it last week i've lost all track of time from a retreat for four days and it was a women's retreat and it was phenomenal and i actually went on it with people that i'd only met once the week before so it's all it was all for women and i did that purposefully for myself so i heard you say ashley it's about taking risks sometimes isn't it yeah. and challenging ourselves from our comfort zone and for me it was a commitment that i'd made for myself to make time yeah. because i am a bit of a workaholic i can kind of just get my head down and get really busy and a lot of the things that i've had to work on is sometimes i can have my walls up all my boundaries of what I thought I've set are too, too tight or too built around me or, you know, like I've had trust issues before. And then the other thing for me is as I do this great work, which is incredible and my community expands, often the people who are becoming my friends are also people that I have been a coach or a mentor or a leader or a trainer to, which is great. And it doesn't mean that you can't have friendships because I've got some great friendships. I almost needed to do something for just me hmm. with people that didn't know me and that I didn't have any expectations of myself. Like I didn't need to be a coach or a mentor or a speaker or a trainer. I could just be a participant, yeah. just be me. And it was pushing myself out my comfort zone to go on this this retreat you know we we all had like a common interest everyone wanted to kind of do hiking and you know we had meditation and all of that thing all of those things but what i will say is a life-changing experience i'm so glad that i allowed myself to be open and experience new things and i i've like made friends and people are messaging me and it's it was phenomenal so i think the message for me is as you were saying Think about who you want to be part of your community, push yourself out of your comfort zone, take risks and make time. Every time I do my wheel of life, go and visit your wheel of life if you haven't done it in a while. Every time I do my wheel of life and I'm like, oh, I'm not surprised. The fun wheel, the fun wedge and the friends wedge has ended up being lower. And my mission this year is to take those scores up. So you heard, heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> love it you can hold me accountable to that ashley done i will <laughs> i'm just checking in with you next week see how much fun you've had <laughs> yeah make sure i'm having fun and making friends so hopefully you all got a few tips there